today is Friday the 13th. I just found out, went to my Facebook page. Woke up this morning, got myself a nice, refreshing hot cup of coffee. And I hadn't blogged in a couple days, and hadn't blogged two weeks before that. Why? Because there ain't no freaking news to report, and it's not my job to promote these people. Last couple of days, what I've seen is nothing but bullshit articles about Mitt Romney and Ann Romney. Basically, Ann Romney being attacked by the Obama administration. Who really gives a rat's ass? Seriously. Not I. I could be totally blunt and be totally honest. I was thinking about changing the breaking news to uh, who gives a flying news flash. You know what I mean? Who gives a flying news flash? That's actually would be a pretty cool title for a new news flash. Because to be honest with you, all these stories about Ann Romney, who gives a flying? I think you know what I'm talking about. I could really care less. To me, that's not news. Good God. I mean, we could sit here and talk about just the attacks that Mrs. Reagan had to take when she was in the Oval Office, and they make it sound like this is brand new. You know, all this stuff has never been done before in GOP politics. Never been done in American politics. Never been done in Democratic politics. Come on, please. Good God. Now, I know that you need viewers for your television shows. I know you need listeners for your radio shows. But please do us a favor. And if you really need to promote these people because you need to make money, because you need sponsors, and obviously you won't get on radio stations if you're not bringing in the dole, then you know what? Fine. Be fl you know, flat out blunt. Be out honest. Look, I need to make a buck, so I'm going to talk about this story right now because... We're manufacturing what is real news. But, uh, please. And then they're talking, obviously, more about Trey Martin, you know, and George Zimmerman. So you, you've got the race pimp equation going on where, you know, the reverends of racism want us to bow before their altar of hatred, you know. So I listened to Mark Levin show the other day, and he said that justice is supposed to be blind. And I'm thinking to myself, going, justice isn't only blind, racism's blind. Yes, racism blinds the American people to really what is right. But I figured, you know what, I don't want to be blogging about these race pimps, these guys who take you to the altar of racism and ask you to pray. Because they do not represent, you know, they really don't represent. Now, whether they have, you know, they belong to the Church of Racism, it's an actual denomination, I do not know. But as far as I'm concerned, it should be. Today, I'm looking around for a news article. Luckily, I came across this one. Tea Party leaders warn Romney, don't expect us to campaign for you, Daily Caller. And I was excited because I went to my Facebook page, nothing. I went to media, nothing. I went to Drudge Report, absolutely nothing. And then somebody posts this on my Facebook page. Now, I go listen to the Michael Vinn, this show this morning, and it's actually kind of funny. I feel like I'm the Maharaji, you know, or I can't remember that character that uh, Johnny Carson used to play where he used to hold the envelopes up, but I almost knew what it was predictable. Okay. Mark Levin probably going to show, you know, start out his show talking about the facts, you know, of Ann Romney being attacked. And oh yeah, when he's talking about Ann Romney, you know, he's going to bring up Jack Ryan from Chicago, and you know, he'll have to set a base. Next thing I know, boom, that's what he's talking about. So I'm like, wow, predictability, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, going, yeah, this is real news. Yeah, this is stuff I want to listen to. No, I shut it off. I'm not going to. I totally refused, and then, like I said, I got lucky and came across this article. Tea Party leaders, Juan Romney, don't expect us to campaign for you. Man, that is freaking news, because I don't know if you've ever seen that website, Tea Party Nation, but it's a pretty good website. It's pretty big, and there are a lot of people that participate in that website, or I should say organization. The leader of the Tea Party nation organization has a blunt message for likely Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney Tea Partiers will likely vote for you uh, will likely vote for you 
but don't expect them to get energized and campaign for you. <coughs> Excuse me. After reading that paragraph, I didn't read them. I didn't need to. I didn't need to read any more because it bluntly stated exactly, I think, a way a lot of people in, I don't want to say the Republican Party, I'm just going to say in America who love freedom, they're not energized. Do they care? Oh, I'm sure they do care. I don't think they care for this candidate. Now, I could have blogged about Ann Romney and this, what is her name, Hillary Rosen. What the hell do I care? What is that going to help me gain any of my freedoms back? No. Is it going to help me make any money? No, because I don't charge money. I don't try to make money. What I try to do is spread freedom. And the fact that I want mine <laughs> as much as I can get, and I don't want to see my children lose theirs. Now, that's exactly what I want to promote. And I have no problem promoting this article. Because one of the things I really thought about at the beginning when I found out that Mitt Romney might, you know, have a good chance of winning the Republican nomination was, if there's one thing, it really, it, you know, it's kind of cool just before Election Day when they put out all the signs and you see signs everywhere of any particular candidate in any field that they're running in, you know, local, national, statewide. It's kind of neat to see all the political signs and some of them have phrases on them and stuff, which makes it kind of cool. But then after the election, nobody goes and picks up this stuff. So what's it become? Litter. Yes, I'm like the Indian in the 70s after Election Day, and I have a tear coming down my eye because i got to look at all this trash littering my neighborhoods. But I know this year there's no excitement. No, there's no anticipation for November of 2012. So I've got a good inclination. I'm probably not going to have to look at a lot of election signs come November. And no, uh, day after election, I'm not going to have to look at a bunch of trash. With that being said, I do want to thank the Daily Caller for having a news article that's worth reporting. So if I have to promote somebody, at least I'll be promoting an organization like the Tea Party Nation that told the Romney campaign flat out, <laughs> yeah, right, we might vote for you, but don't expect us to campaign for you, and the Daily Caller for reporting a news article worth blogging about. I'm Tim Donovan, and I'm on the right. You want to know where I am? Just look to the right. You're going to see me. <laughs> Not energized, and no, I won't be helping the Mitt Romney campaign. Campaign on the right side. <laughs>